to soar with eagles, to walk on air, to touch the sky, to fly. Travel Park Chorus is taking off! from Travel Park Chorus. Today, we are at the Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta, the largest hot air balloon event in the world. In this episode of Travel Park Chorus, we're looking at the science of flight, specifically lighter than air flight. You know, LTA. For as long as people look to the sky with wonder, seeking inspiration and hope, mankind has dreamt of flight. The curious, determined, and brave, human achievement provides the plot line for stories of individuals who changed the course of history, pushing the boundaries of science and expanding our knowledge of the world. From early drawings dating back 500 years, to the first flight on Carolina Beach, to the far reaches of space, people have been looking for ways Three, to go higher, two, further, one. faster. Booster ignition and liftoff of Endeavour. There are four main types of manned flight. Powered flight, think airplanes. Rotary flight, like a helicopter. Space flight, like into space. And LTA flight, which includes hot air balloons, gas balloons, and dirigibles. The first experiments with balloon flight took place in France, way back in 1783. The Montgolfier brothers Joseph and Jacques lived in France in the late 1700s, sons of a paper merchant and pretty adventurous guys. One day, as they were sitting around the fire, they couldn't help but notice that the smoke was rising into the air. Being curious, they built a small device that captured the smoke and sure enough, rose into the air. Being really curious, they wondered if it could support life. So, they built a larger balloon and loaded up a rather confused sheep duck and rooster and sent them flying off into the French countryside. Being rather reckless, they decided that if the balloon could support life, they would try it out themselves. So they built a bigger contraption, put it over the fire, and let it fly. So now we know who started this madness, let's look at the what, as in what is a hot air balloon. A lighter than air flight system is made up of three key parts, the basket or gondola, the burner, and the envelope. Wait, I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, the pilot. Baskets carry the pilot and the passengers. They're usually made of wicker, a strong but light natural material that bends instead of breaks, in case you hit the ground too hard. The burner is what creates enough heat for the envelope, that's the balloon, to rise with the hot air. The heat of the burner pressurizes the propane, changing its form from liquid to gas, and filling the envelope with the hot air we need to fly. For the last four years, we've been flying with our friends, Glenn and Truman Ward, the father-son team behind the baddest balloon in the West, the flamethrower. I had some questions before going up in the air. We'll look at the science later, but for now, I really want to know, once you're up there, how do you steer? There's <laughs> There's really no steering. Now, Elaborate. The best you can do is that there are different layers of wind. So maybe at 300 feet you'll be heading southwest, where maybe 500 feet you're going southeast. So you can utilize those different directions and different layers to kind of guide yourself where you want to go, but you're still kind of working with a predominant wind direction, like south. Every once in a while you'll get what's called a box. And a box is where you have uh, maybe at 200 feet you're going straight south, and then at 700 feet you're going straight north. So you make a box. So you take off, you go south, you go up, and you track right back to where you came from and you can land where you took off from. They're really rare, but they're really cool. So if you can't steer and you're not sure where you're going to land, how do you get home? Chase, Chase crew. crew. Mm -hmm. Chase crew is really exciting. Riding in the truck, chasing behind a big balloon, the pilot and the crew chief earn radio contact during the flight. The pilot reads the wind currents, relaying instructions to the chase crew, hoping they both end up in the same place at the same time. As the pilot touches down, the crew runs to get weight on the basket and keep the balloon from taking off again. 
Once safely on the ground, the crew works together to get the air out of the balloon and pack it all up until the next flight. Finally, a question we ask all our contributors. What would an expert like you want a kid like me to know about flying a hot air balloon? Hmm, you're the expert. <laughs> I think a kid like you needs to know how to fly. We need young blood if we're to keep it alive. Not that it'll ever go away, but you've been flying since you were, what, five or six now with us? Mm -hmm. And um, you're always excited to be out here. And, and I just think if we could have that sort of excitement transferred to every, every kid out there, um, we'd all be better off. So today we learned about the Montgolfier brothers who started all this madness. And we looked at how all the different parts of a balloon work together. But now we're looking at the how, as in how does a balloon fly? That's right, going back to the lab. Here at Travel Parkourist, when we don't know the answers, we take it to the lab. Our top secret, find it, ask it, try it, investigative research hub. We're in the lab to look at the science behind how a balloon lifts off the earth, rising into the sky. We will look at the basic scientific concepts of LTA flight. You can look deeper into the science on your own, as it's very cool. Let's start with the name of it. It actually tells us most of what we need to know. Lighter than air. To get and keep a balloon in the air, you have to fill it with something that's lighter than air. I never thought of air as having weight, but it does. I know it's crazy, but it's true. If we take this balloon and fill it with my breath, you can see it just drops to the ground. The balloon and the ambient air in the lab are heavier than the air inside the balloon. If we fill another balloon with helium gas, you can see right away that helium plus the weight of the balloon is lighter than the ambient air around it. So it rises. A hot air balloon burns propane through the burner to fill the envelope with air that is hotter and thus lighter than the ambient air. You may have heard that heat rises. Give enough gas and you'll fly. Once you're up in the air, the pilot can use the burner to add more heat to the envelope, causing the balloon to go higher. Or stop adding hot air and you begin to descend. Balloons are fun to fly and maybe even more fun to chase. But if you actually need to get somewhere, they're not that dependable. With no motor or steering, you can't exactly set a course. The advent of the combustion engine and powered flight made air travel much easier. In part two of our travel parkour series on the science of flight, we will look at how powered flight took mankind to a whole nother level. The airplane. Check out our Instagram, subscribe, and stay tuned. There's more to come. I know a hearty laugh. Gravity holds us back. From flying off and finding our own moon. And all I'll ever see is there some scene. Plenty to explore, but still there's plenty more